Imagine this. You were saved. You were falling down into this abyss, right? Going to hell. And you were saved. Jesus placed you up here on the solid rock with him. Now, do you think it's a good idea to stay near the edge or to get near to him, closer and closer to him? Or do you think near the edge where you first got on, where you got on board, right? No, that's a dangerous spot. You could fall off there real easy. You don't want to fall off, you guys. You want to get away from the edge where you first came in to believe. So here it says also as instruments of unrighteousness. So that word instruments is very interesting because what it means, it literally means weapons. So don't present your parts of your bodies as weapons of unrighteousness. Instead, present them as weapons for the spiritual warfare on the right side. Weapons of righteousness because we are in spiritual war, you guys. So stay busy, guys. Stay busy fighting the good fight. Make sure you're fighting the good fight, not not fighting for Satan, right? You don't want to do that. But present yourselves to God as those who are alive from the dead. We're no longer people of of the dead. We're people of life, of light with Jesus. Stay near to him. Stay near to God. That's the key, you guys. Stay near to him. Abide in him. Pray every day. You know, one of the best things I've learned, and Billy Graham talked about this and other pastors, and it's great. It really works for me. But fall asleep. Instead of looking at your dumb phone, fall asleep. Praying, talking to God. Maybe even reading your Bible and and then talking to God. He wants to hear from you. Talk to him. Fall asleep that way. And then guess what? Wake up the same way. (laughs) The first thing I do, and it's been helping me a lot this past year, is just before I even get out of bed and do anything, I'll I'll sit up on the edge of my bed. Don't lay down because you'll fall back asleep. I promise you that. But sit up and just pray. And say, Lord, please help me. I first thank him. Thank you, God, for saving me. Thank you for forgiving me all my sins. I love you, God. Thank you for loving me. And then I raise my hands up and I say, Lord, please fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I can live for you today, to be near to you. And it works. And it'll work for you too, my friend. I promise you that. So that's the key is is stay near to God. It's so important. Because you're dead to sin. Now you're alive with God. Claim that. You're alive with him. And your body parts as instruments, remember, weapons for righteousness for God. These are weapons of righteousness that we have. For sin shall not be master over you. You're going to be master over your body, over your sin, over your sinful flesh, my friend. For you are not under the law, but under grace. And what is grace? Getting something good you don't deserve, like this song. And this is so good. I love this song. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. And who do we see? Jesus. (laughs) Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. This grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. So why did I share that, you guys? I shared that because when you're close to God, you realize what a sinner you are, and you realize how much you're saved by his grace. Getting something good you don't deserve. And that's the key, you guys. It's like a campfire. I've used this before, but it's good. The closer you get to the fire, the campfire is like God himself. He is that fire, like the burning bush that never burned, but it was his, the flames were there. You get closer to that campfire. You see what you look like, the stains of what you look like when you're facing the fire. You're looking at Jesus. You see what you look like. But if you turn your back, you're in the shadows. You no longer see what you look like, but you see others and you point out their sin. And that's a sign of someone who needs to repent, which means turn around and face God again. Face him. Look into Jesus. Like that song, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful gaze. And the things on earth 
will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace 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 abide in jesus my friend hey you might want to hit this playlist and look at the rest of the teachings in the book of romans right here love you guys